Hey guys, Erica and Angie with Backyard Shooting and I've got four of the same kind of guns right here. These are all JTS Aracuda Max's um, regulated, absolutely sweet platform. The only difference of all these air rifles right here is this is 177, 22, 25, and yes, 30. Hey guys, so this is like take three, I think. Um, I've had all my equipment out multiple times and then it decided to rain so I had to rush it back into my shop. So here I am again, different day, different hairstyle, just kidding, I don't know what my hairstyle was in the last one, it might be the same, I don't remember, but um, I know it's a different shirt. <laughs> We're going to see what the difference is between each caliber even though it's the same exact platform. Okay. Let's get started. I'm starting off like I normally do guys, lightest to heaviest, so we're going to go with the smallest caliber to the heaviest. So we're on the 177 and I've got my FX chronograph right here. I need to set it for the appropriate um, pellet weight. One seven seven pellets are so tiny. They're itty bitty little tiny pellets. I'm going to single load a couple pellets and shoot them just to get the and it sounds so quiet 940 same thing i guess she doesn't tell you if it's the same thing yeah 940 every time all right Let's go ahead, um, I'm going to put the mag in and we're going to see what kind of accuracy we're going to get at 50 yards. And I'm going to shoot the bullseye. I did um, sight them in already, so they should be, should be pretty much there. Oh, that one's a little high right. So I'm going to use the top left bull. I'm not going to zero it perfectly. We're just going to see what size groups we're going to get. Mm, that was different placement. As far as the 177, I'm going to have to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with it. I haven't really. These are um, pretty much straight out the box, except for the 30 and the 25, I believe. I already had those and I've already... Um, yes, the 30 and the 25. I've already had those. I've already done videos on them. I just got the 177 and the, um, the 22. So I need to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with the 177, find out its favorite pellet, maybe do a hammer spring adjustment. I'm not sure. It wasn't performing that great, so I'm not going to continue to shoot something that's not, not doing well. I need to figure out what's going on with it first. And maybe there's a leak and it needs to be sent back. I really don't know, but we're going to find out. Um, but that does not, does not mar the JTS Aracuda Max um, reputation. These air guns are great air guns. We all know that there's just issues sometimes with any product in the entire world that exists. So whatever it is, I'm going to get to the bottom of it, guys, and I will do another video on the 177 later. But for now, we've got the 22, 25, and the 30, so we'll focus on that. That's it. All right, so the mag's already in. I'll just um, I'll load a couple more. I'm going to take a couple shots at the center bowl and then, um, like, probably three or four and then I'll shoot two five shot groups yeah I think I'm good to go ahead and move up to my over to the top right. Eight 
That's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, the first group was a little better than the second one, but it was pretty good. Um, average with that, um, at 884, we've got a standard deviation of 1.1 and an extreme spread of 3 over 12 shots. So, yeah, it's pretty consistent. Pretty sweet and consistent. New shot string. And we're going to move on to the 25. And I did test this with the JTS 25.3s, but... I couldn't get very good groups out of those, I'm sorry. I would have loved to have, but I instead moved over to the JSB 25.3s. These are exact kings. Um, those are the ones I'm going to be shooting. I've got my mag loaded. Um, this one actually holds 10 shots, so if I take a few shots in the beginning, I will need to reload a couple more. Here we go. I'm gonna load my mag. Now this mag is, is quite tight. Um, they're not all like that, but this one is. All right, so I'm going to take a couple shots for the center and see where I'm hitting. And a little right. I probably should take a couple shots before I make any adjustments, just in case it's from the top off. That might be a little wonky. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that hit the bowl. And that was five. Let's go ahead and load five more. I'm actually going to um, turn that away so that we, we've already got ten shots. I don't need to record anymore. All right, bottom right five shot group. Nine hundred two. You're not supposed to be reading that. Two, three, ah, four, and five. Oh man, not great. That second shot was second heart. Second group was not the best. The first one was pretty good though. Sometimes I wonder if I take a break between um, shot groups, <laughs> if it changes things. I don't know. I don't know, but that's the results from the 25, and I think that's pretty good. That's definitely kill zone shots right there. And I love 25 cals. Love them. All right, on to the 30. Now, the, all their stocks are different. I'm not sure if maybe it's just the difference in the wood used or if it's um, on purpose. This one has kind of a later, an, a later, an older kind of more rustic look to it, kind of faded looking. And then the 25 was a darker wood, kind of shiny and new, as well as the 22. The 177 kind of has more faded look like this, so they're all kind of different, so it's kind of cool. Maybe it depends on who you are, whether you think that's cool or not. All right, so 10 shot average on the 25 was 896 feet per second um, with a seven, um, an extreme spread of seven feet per second and a standard deviation of 2.2. So that is pretty good, again. All right, let's see what we're gonna do with these ones. Oh, I already got the mag loaded. Now this mag, I think it has eight shots. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna shoot the right target, the center, to see where we're hitting first. A little low. 849. A little low. 
There we go. Oop, a little left. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shoot my target top left. And top right. Here we go. Eight hundred fifty five. Eight hundred fifty one. Oh. One, two, three. There we go. Four and five. Oh, that one was a little left. But if you take both of those groups together, they're pretty close to the same. With the 30, the 10 shot average is 856 feet per second. That's an extreme spread of 11 and a standard deviation of 3.4, which is pretty good. All right, guys, so um, as far as accuracy, um, they're all 50 yard air guns for sure. The, I don't know, they each had at least one really, really decent group. So definitely all three of them are 50 yard air guns. The power is a, of course gonna be different. We've got a 22, 25 and a 30. So um, of course you're for like medium, medium-ish, medium, small medium-ish type of game, I would use the 30. Um, small medium-ish, the 25. <laughs> 25 is a great round for um, all sorts of things. Like this would be a, probably a good, you'd have to make a perfect, perfect shot, but maybe a coyote raccoon gun. That one would be good squirrel um, raccoon kind of, yeah, yeah, that one. And then the 22 would be a good squirrel, ratter, um, rabbit, that kind of thing so they each have their different purposes and i would say they're absolutely accurate enough to take them to do whatever you would like to do with them not whatever you know what i'm talking about within ethical bounds jts has an option um, from 177 all the way up to 30. 177 22 25 and 30 in the aracuda max they are regulated um, super sweet they have the adjustable cheek riser the trigger's nice. They're just some really nice and affordable PCPs from JTS. So if you haven't heard of them, or if you have, and maybe you're like, huh, maybe I should take another look at those. Yeah, definitely do. They're worth looking at. So that's going to be it for today. I'm Airgun Angie with Backyard Shooting. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya.